to you, does it seem like tagging your videos on YouTube seem like a daunting process? Like you just do not understand how to tag your videos properly? Well, guess what? In this video, we're gonna be talking all about that, how to tag your videos the best way so that you can get more views on your videos. So stay tuned. Well, what's going on? My name is Simone Redman. I'm an online video strategist and YouTube specialist, and I teach women entrepreneurs how to grow their business with the power of YouTube by utilizing online video and teaching them how to grow their impact, authority, and their income. So inside of this video, I'm really going to be talking to you about how to properly tag your videos and how to really put them strategically so that you can get more views, more subscribers, more leads, more clients, anything that you wanted from your videos, you're going to get them. So let's go ahead and talk about it. When it comes to tagging, and tagging is really not like a daunting process, like it's not that bad. But if you do not know what you're doing, it does kind of, it doesn't make sense, right? So I want you to think of tags as like hashtags, Instagram hashtags, okay? So tags are hashtags for YouTube. And one thing that you wanna do is that you wanna put your most important tag first and then the least important and then lesser important. So it's gonna go down in order. So YouTube does pay attention to what you put in your videos for your tags. Now, the thing is, is that with your tags, you always want them to center around your very first keyword. Okay, you don't wanna just go and grab random tags to just put in your video because you wanna become popular or you wanna become viral. It's not gonna happen. So. One thing that I want you to do is, or understand is that putting tags is a strategic process. It's not a hard process, but it's a, it's a strategic process in order for you to really gain traction and be ranked on the first page of YouTube and Google. So number one, you want to make sure that you are using your keyword phrase inside of the first tag. Normally for me, my very first keyword or keyword phrase is something related to my video title. Now it's not always going to be that way, but it's going to be related to my video title. So I always want to put that one first. That is the very first keyword that I put. I don't put my name. I don't put my city. I don't put how to or stuff like that because that was something that um, I was taught from a previous coach and I saw that it wasn't working for me and I really wasn't gaining the traction that I wanted to. So I had to learn take time, sit back and learn how to properly tag my videos. So whatever the first tag that you want to rank for or the first keyword phrase you wanna rank for should be your very first tag. Number two, you wanna use a mix of broad and focused keywords. So what do I mean by broad and focused keywords? So for example, let's say that you want to create a video about push-ups, okay? You're doing push-ups, you're exercising, all this other stuff, and you want to center tags around the word push-ups so you want to say best you know best push-up workout or workout you know push-up workout for women or push-up workout for men something like that you want them to center around broad and focused keywords so that's what I mean by that um, so if you're doing something about how to rank a video on YouTube you can say okay how to rank a video on YouTube that's my first primary keyword and you can say ranking videos on YouTube or you can say how to or process of ranking video something of that nature but it has to go around that very first keyword number three you want to use long tail keywords now what do I mean by long tail keywords keyword phrases or your tags should have like one to two words maybe three inside of them kind of like a sentence almost not like a sentence but kind of like a sentence so you want to make sure that you're using long tail keywords so that in order for people to really put this in the search that that long tail keyword helps you show up in search that's what's so important and that's what i want you to understand so long tail keywords help as well just make sure that they are kind of like a mixture and everything's not so jumbled all right so one of the things that i want you to understand is that I normally use 10, 10 tags max, okay? And that's really all that you need. 10 tags max, you don't need to overdo it. Yes, you do have a character limit of 500 inside of the tag description when you're uploading your videos, but you don't wanna use all of that. Um, because the more that you jumble tags inside of your video, the more YouTube doesn't understand what your video is about, okay? It's not, you know, oh, I wanna use this tag because it's gonna help me rank more or stuff like that. This is not Instagram. You have to think, okay, what is my video about? 
how can I center words and written phrases around this video so that when people search for it, they find my video. So that's what you have to do. It's a strategic process, but it's not a hard process to do. So what are some of the tools that I use when it comes to helping me find out what my tag should be? for my video. So the first thing that I use is vidIQ Boost. I love vidIQ Boost and one of the things that I like about this is that I'm able to spy on my competition. So I can go search for a video and see what tags they used to do, you know, to help them rank on the first page of YouTube. So it's really cool. I absolutely love it. Number two is another extension browser. It's called TubeBuddy. I love TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is great. It really helps you understand like how to be how to make your videos better on youtube and they also show you uh the tags that people use and the tags that you can use and if you use it it also shows you what you're going to be ranking for on youtube when you use a specific tag so i like that too so it's kind of like okay well you can see what's going to be number one or number two on the first page of youtube and where you're going to be at and number three is something that i just kind of found out it's called tags youtube and you can use this as well. Now, I'm not affiliated with any of these products at all. I have no affiliations. Um, this is just tools that I use. And so I'm gonna put those in the description below for you so that you can check those out at your leisure and see which one that you like the most. Now, I want you to understand, very important thing, do not go overboard with your tags. Please do not make the mistake that I did when I first got on YouTube and I was just putting in stuff because I just didn't know what to do and I wanted to grow my channel. I just was doing it the wrong way. So I just want you to don't go overboard. 10 tags max is good enough and just make sure that you're using those keyword phrases that's in your description and your tags too. So it's kind of working best for you in both ways all right so i hope that you kind of got some type of insight from this video helped you understand how to tag your videos properly so if you got any value or if you have any questions or comments just leave it in the comments below and um i will be able to check those out and actually reply back to them because that's what i love doing so if you got value from this video just please like it share it with your friends and comment below of course and just let me know how much you have loved this video and what insights that you got from it all right so I will talk to you all soon and I'll talk to you next week. Have a good one.